All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Kakadash, the one honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who will teach well being, great examples to all younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations, hopefully, they got there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, pushing the guilt out of here. Shalom on to the hopefully, the believers and listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures. Through faith in y'all by Shema All right, and what I want to get into this morning, you know, is dealing with, you know, being well pleasing, okay, to Yahweh by Shema Shah. You know, and as a people, you know, the Lord has put the spirit on his remnant, you know, to become pleasing unto him in the latter days as we, you know, get closer to the time, all right, where we're going to need, you know, aid from on high, where we're going to need a savior, we're going to need salvation, you know, and within this you know, grace period, you know, we want to become as pleasing as we can unto our power, you know, and we want to have the same report, all right, as Yahweh Shai, you know, when you get um, the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 9, and it says, um, and it came to pass in those days that Yahweh Shai came from Nazareth to Galilee and was baptized of John in Jordan. And straightway, coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens open and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. Okay? Now, this is the point. And there came a voice from heaven, and this is the heavenly father, saying, Thou art my beloved son. Let you know that's the heavenly father because he addresses your house as his beloved son. Okay? In whom I am well pleased. Okay? The heavenly father was pleased with your house Okay, Yahweh Shah had their report of being pleasing to the Father, and we want their report, all right, that we're pleasing to Yahweh, all right, by Hashem in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shah. Okay, we want their report of being well pleasing. That's likened to you know a, a a husband that's pleased, you know, of his wife. You know, one thing about it is we go through the scriptures and the Lord, okay compares Israel to his wife, all right, and you understand the relationship between, you know, a man and a woman, all right, a, a husband and a wife, all right, a wife that is pleasing, you know, to her husband, her husband is always, you know, thinking about, you know, what he can do next for, you know, her husband, you know, has a mindset to, you know, to, 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 to shower her, you know, with, with abundance, you know, to protect her, to go all out to protect her, man. To go all out, you know, to provide, you know, a woman that's pleasing unto him. You know? He rejoices over that woman. That's, you know, what Yahweh Bashim al Shah is about to do for his people, beginning with the lick. He's finna rejoice, you know, over his people. Okay, so when you get um the book of Isaiah fifty four, you know, and he goes into all right, Isaiah 54 and 4. It says, Fear fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, okay? Neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame, for thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shall know, all right, and shall not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. Yeah, because we became as widows, man. You know, the widow was very vulnerable. You know, a widow has to depend on the rest of the nation to provide and protect. Okay? <laughs> a widow was vulnerable, man. We became vulnerable, okay, because we was put away. You know? It, it was like the most high was, 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 we was dead until the most high. Okay? Just like a widow, her husband would be dead. You know, she would, you know, she would, she wouldn't have that hedge. Well, that's the state we was in. Okay, but the Lord is going to take that reproach away, man. Okay? Verse 5 said, For thy maker is thy husband. All right, the Lord of hosts is his name. And thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the power of the whole earth, shall he be called. For the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, have called thee as a woman, forsaken and grieved in spirit, and a wife of youth, when thou wast refused, said thy power. Okay, and you go here, and you read it. I should get it in a new, in a, um, in a blue letter. Okay, this is um 
Isaiah 54. And, and 6 in the NLT, it said, For the Lord has caused you back from your grief, as though you were a young wife abandoned by her husband, says your power. Okay? So, there's, there's a sadness. Okay? There will be a sadness if you're a young bride, you know, and your, and your husband just out of the blue abandoned you. <laughs> okay? You know, you was in a situation where you provided for, cared for, okay? And, um, you know, you had that protection. You know, you had status in the, you know, based off your husband's status, you had rank. You weren't just, you know, weren't married to just no, you know, anybody. No, nah, you were married to a man of, of status and authority, okay? And you had the perks to come with that. And then all of a sudden, that's taken away. And that was happening to us because, why? Wow, our disobedience. Okay, we was we we was a wife that was displeasing to the Lord. Okay, uh, adulterous harlot. Okay, and proud. Hey, <laughs> you see. All right, so we were a bandit and and and, and left for the streets, you know, <laughs> for for modern terms. Okay, but now through your house shot, you know, the Lord is having mercy on 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 his bride, man. You know. And it's bringing us back into the house, man. And we're getting ready to receive those benefits, okay, of, of, of being provided for, protected, okay? Glory, you know, a man would deck his woman out, you know, especially a king, you know, he would deck, you know, his, his wife out, man, his wives out, man. You know, having the best of the best, and especially those that, that was pleasing, all right? So we want to be well pleasing to our power, man. Okay, and it says, verse um, verse seven for a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. Okay, so Lord's getting ready to gather, you know, His people through mercy, man. Okay, He's getting ready to show ultimate mercy on His people through this deliverance, man. Okay, because hey, we 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 didn't do anything to to, to deserve mercy, man. The Lord. Decide to have mercy, man. He opened up mercy, man. Okay? Gave us the spirit to be pleasing unto him. You know? That's why all praise and glory goes to Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right? Verse 8 says, In a, in a little wrath I hear my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, said the, the Lord thy Redeemer, man. You know? And then the husband would, you know, be kind to a woman that, that is pleasing unto him. You know, she pretty much opens up, you know, a, 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 um, you know, a, a side of her husband, you know, that, that, that has great kindness, man. Okay. And that's what's happening, you know, between us, you know, and our power, you have by Shema Oshai. <laughs> okay. Let's get this, um. This is the book of um, Isaiah 62 and 5. It said, For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall thy power rejoice over thee. You know? And in, in, in the ancient world, you, you know, when a man, you know, would get him a young virgin, man, he would rejoice. You know, there was a rejoicing. You know, you got you a young, you know, a little tender on it, and she in order. She's pleasing unto you. She's been groomed, you know, to your liking, okay? A man will rejoice, okay, over that, man. You know, there will they'll, they'll be a great rejoicing unto a man, okay? The scriptures say how, you know, the beauty of a woman cheered up the countenance, and a man will have nothing, you know, more, okay? And, and, and their beauty starts from within. Okay, then that our beauty will complement, you know, that beautiful spirit. Okay? And a man, a, a husband would rejoice, you know, in that, man. And when you get some more, could just type in rejoice over. There's something Jeremiah 32 and 41. It said, yeah, I will rejoice over them, all right, to do them good 
and I will plant them in the land assuredly with my whole heart and with my whole soul. So the Lord is going to rejoice over them, all right, which is his elect, the elect of Israel, to do them good, okay? Like I say, a, a wife that's well pleasing to a husband, you know, the the husband will go all out, you know? Even, um, <laughs> I think this. Now, this is uh, the book of Esther, chapter 5. All right, this is book of Esther, chapter 5, verse 1. It says, Now it came to pass on the third day that Esther put on her royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's house, over against the king's house. And the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house over against the gate of the house. <clears throat> and it was so when the king saw Esther the king standing in the court that she obtained favor in his sight and the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand so Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter then said the king unto her what wilt thou Esther and what is thy request it shall be even given thee all right to the half of the kingdom Okay, so Xerxes was like, look, what's your request? Esther should be given unto you, even half the kingdom. <laughs> you see, Esther had favor before, okay, her husband. Now, this is a heathen king, you know, but just the concept, okay? He was open up to, to, to give Esther, okay, he was like, what's your request? What you, what, whatever you want, what you, what, what's good? Okay, and that's the spirit of the Lord, you know, is going to have on his people. All right. This is on um, the book of Zephaniah. All right, chapter three. This is on. Um, yeah, Zephaniah 3 and 14 says, Sing, O daughter of Zion, and shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away thy judgments, which is captivity. He hath cast out thy enemy, beginning with Esau, Edom, the rest of these heathens. All right, it's going to be put down. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. They begin their protection. All right. <laughs> we're coming into their protection, you know, from my husband. It says, In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thy hands be slack. The Lord thy power is in the midst of thee. All right, the Lord thy power in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save, he will rejoice over thee with joy, he will rest in his love, he will joy over thee with singing. Okay, hey, the the Lord, hey, the, 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 we're gonna be pleasing unto our power, and He's gonna rejoice over us, man. We can we can, cause you, we see the Lord's wrath and His anger, you know, towards us. You know what we went through. <laughs> okay, so imagine, you know, the Lord rejoicing over us eternally. He said He's gonna rest in His love, man. Okay. So he's going to rejoice over thee with singing, man, showing you the, 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 the good mood he's going to be in. Okay? You know, you you, got, you know, you, you in love with your woman, you know, as a, as a man. You know, you get to singing sometimes, you know. <laughs> singing songs and, and rejoicing. Okay? And that's how the Lord is going to be with us. Okay, on a whole nother level, man. All right? So that's the point. You know, we praise you, brothers. All right, and you sisters edified to the next time I say shout one.